Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to Home Field Advantage Sports. Wow, if you stayed up last night for the Orioles game through the rain delay, it was like, what, an hour and 45 minutes or something, you had a good night. Um, <laughs> you might have, you know, a little bit of lack of sleep today, but hey, you know, it was worth it to see the Orioles put up a 10-3 win against one of the hotter clubs in baseball. Look, I know the Reds probably a little bit of a flash in the pan, like, they probably shouldn't have done what they did. Maybe against some easy opponents or whatever. But they got a lot of hype around them right now. And a lot of young stars. And they could find themselves in the Orioles position that the Orioles are in now in a year or two. You know, the Reds are one of the up-and-coming teams in baseball. And, um, you know, it was nice to see the Orioles put up 10 runs. Uh, Jordan Westberg made his debut. Took an 0-2 in his first ever at bat. And, you know, drew a walk out of it. Um... You know, that's pretty awesome. It was in a torrential downpour when it happened, but it was pretty cool. Um, that play he made out in the field was amazing. That little shovel play to Mateo when he got uh, fielded the ball uh, over second base, that was an awesome play. Um, got his first career hit, got some RBIs in there, so I think it was a successful debut for Jordan Westberg. I think he's going to have an awesome career with the Orioles. Um, they got a great core young talent right now. I know we keep saying that over and over again as Oriole fans. But they do, and there's more on the way to Baltimore. Uh, Colton Cowles will, you know, he'll be there soon. Um, maybe Heston Kerstad gets called up at some point. You know, in a couple years, Jackson Holiday is going to take the major leagues by storm. Um, so there's a lot to be excited for as an Oriole fan. Um, the Reds pitching was wild as shit last night. <laughs> I know it was raining and everything, but it seemed like the Orioles were able to you know, focus in a little bit more during the rain. Um, Cole Irvin gave up a run, you know, obviously didn't come out to pitch again after the, the, the delay. Um, Bruce Zimmerman looked fine in his three innings. Yeah, he gave up a home run, but that's fine. Um, I, th I like Bruce Zimmerman. I like him because he's a hometown guy, Ellicott City. So, you know, a Towson, he's, he's just, you know, he was meant to be on the Orioles. He might not be the most talented, but he's going to go out there, he's going to give you his 110%, and I'm glad that he looked solid last night. Um, I hope he sticks around and plays to someone like Voth, honestly. Um, Zimmerman's better in that role, and I, I have more faith in Zimmerman than I do in someone like Austin Voth. Uh, Voth, however the hell you say his name, I call him Voth. Uh, I hear a lot of people call him Voth. It doesn't really matter to me. Hopefully I don't have to say his name too much anymore. I hope he, you know, I really don't want to see him in an Orioles uniform again. Um... I was just, you know, I was glad to see guys like CNL last night come in. Yes, it was a 10-3 game, but, you know, he didn't give up two or three runs and make it a closer than it did. Like, there's been a lot of games this season where the Orioles were kicking some ass and they let the other team back into the game. So I was glad to see the bullpen kind of hold the line a little bit. Um, guys that have struggled. And, you know, it was nice to see. Um, tonight... The Reds have this kid who's pitched four games so far this season, but he's 3-0 and and has a one-something ERA, so he's had a hot start. I think his name's Andrew Abbott, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know them as well. Um, we hardly ever see the Reds. I know now we play them every season now, but you know we haven't played them in a really long time. We played them last year, but they were a much different team, it seemed like. Uh, I know they had like Jonathan India. Votto didn't play last night. He should probably be back in the lineup tonight, from what I would expect anyway. Um... But they just seem like a different team than they were last year, the Reds do. So I feel like, you know, these pitchers, I don't really know what to expect from them. I know this kid that's throwing tonight's a lefty, um, and he's he's pitched well to start. But we got Tyler Wells on the mound, the Orioles do, so hoping that Wells can come out, kind of rebound from the game in Tampa. And He didn't pitch poorly, but he didn't pitch great. Um, you know, I feel like he pitches better at home. And he pitches better when, like, I don't think Wells is as quite as successful against the division as he is against other teams. Uh, I think Wells is a great pitcher. And I think he could have success in the AL East. Just like, like, I think the same thing about Kyle Bradish. It's just that up to this point in their careers, they haven't looked as good against the AL East. So I'm hoping Wells kind of rebounds, um, goes deep tonight. I'm hoping for six or seven innings from him. Now, Barring the weather, because I know it's supposed to storm in the Baltimore area, or at least it could storm, um, just like last night. So, you know, you might only see a couple innings before there's a delay, or they might not play at all. 
But if the game plays out normally and there's no delay in the middle, hopefully Wells can go deep. Um, I think we'll see Westberg in the lineup again tonight. Probably won't see O'Hearn because it's a lefty-lefty matchup, but who knows? I mean, Hyde, he threw out a kind of weird lineup last night, but I like the way it worked. Um, Hayes led off the game. He was dh and last night. McKenna was out in the outfield. But, you know, I kind of liked it. Cedric batting six was kind of weird, but hey, you know, it worked. They scored 10 runs, so who am I to complain? Uh, speaking of McKenna, I just brought him, brought him up. Uh, the Reds beaned the shit out of McKenna last night and threw it his head again. Now, I know it was wet, but the Reds seemed kind of bitchy to me for a couple reasons last night. The whole pitch comm thing, they, that was bullshit, all right? Um, if your pitch comm goes down twice in the same inning, go to finger signs, all right? Um, that, that was some stall tactic or something, waiting for the rain to come. I know it was. Uh, and the whole throwing at people... I didn't like that. I know it's wet and you might not have your best control, but if you don't, you shouldn't be out on the mound. Um, Bruce Zimmerman, I'm pretty sure he beamed that Reds batter on purpose, right on, right on the elbow. Um, that had to be a retaliation. Uh, I don't think that it was because of the weather. And, like, you don't just bean someone for no reason, like Ryan McKenna. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a small possibility that it's because the balls were wet. I, they were wild. They were walking people and everything. But you notice when they're walking people, they're not throwing at people. I feel like that's a little different. Um, and I could just be, you know, stirring the pot a little bit. Like, I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. I felt like, you know, maybe they were trying to start some shit. I don't know. Their manager's a hothead. I know that. He gets ejected a lot. That David Bell. So... I don't know. I'm not pointing any fingers or anything, but I know one thing. If I see something like that again tonight, I think benches need to exchange some words. Um, I know the Reds aren't a rival. I know they're a National League team that we don't see often, but anybody that pulls that kind of shit and it carries over, there has to be words. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't care um, if the Orioles never see him, if they don't have a rivalry or whatever doesn't have to be the Orioles-Yankees to be a fight. Uh, the Orioles had words with the White Sox last year, if you remember, with, you know, they I think they, like, shoved Jorge Mateo off the bag or something. So all I know is they better not pull that shit again tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like, you know, the Orioles clearly outmatched the Reds. Um, L.A. De La Cruz was quiet last night. I, I was surprised. I thought, you know... Probably tear up Cole Irvin, but Cole Irvin made him look kind of silly. Um, Bruce Zimmerman made him look kind of silly, but I feel like he'll have to have a good game at some point in this series. But I feel like the Orioles outmatch him. Um, I smell a sweep. I feel like if the Orioles can get this win tonight with Wells on the mound, then they're going to win with Gibson tomorrow because I think the Reds are pitching Luke Weaver tomorrow, and he has like a six-something ERA. Look, the Orioles should win that game. And I think they should win tonight with Wells on the mound. This could be a start of a really hot streak by the Orioles. Um, that would, what, make it a five-game win streak because the two wins against the Mariners plus yesterday's win. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself here, I know. But a win today and tomorrow, that's a five-game win streak pulling in to the Twins series. Um, and then they get a day off on Thursday, a home day off, which is really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to Friday night's game. Um praying that the weather holds off because, you know, I want to see Shaq after the game. I think that'll be an experience. I mean, it's really weird, but it'll be an experience. Um, first time seeing them in the City Connects for me in person, so I get to, like, judge in person how they look uh, on TV. You know, they're not the worst in the league, but they're not you know, the most eye-popping or whatever, but I guess, you know, I'll judge them in person and see. Um, may or may not look through the team store and get the B hat, because I do like that hat a lot. Um, just a solid black hat with the white script on it. That looks really nice. It just looks really clean. That's my favorite part about the entire uniform is the hat. But I don't know. It ought to be a fun time. Um, like I said, I'm getting ahead of myself. They still got these two games against the Reds. Should be, like, look, I think if the weather can hold up, the games will be a little closer. I don't think the Orioles are just going to beat them 10-3 to all three games. Um, I still think the Orioles should win the series, and they could sweep the series. Um, they just, you know, the Orioles are further ahead in their rebuild, and they have more talent on the team. They got better pitching. The Reds don't seem like they have very good pitching to me. 
the teams that they beat in their 12 game win streak, who they beat, like the Royals, the Cardinals, and the Rockies. Um, I know they beat the Braves once at home, and their fans were doing the chop and stuff on TV trying to taunt the Braves, but they promptly lost the next two games. So I get it. You're starved for good baseball. Um, look, I was there for a long time, and I'm sure Cincinnati fans are too, but there's no need to do stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're there yet. I don't think the Reds win their division this year, but they will probably be players next season, if not the year after. Um, they got too many good young pieces. Ellie is a tremendous talent. Um, Matt McLean, uh, Spencer Steer, uh, they got some they got some pieces, and Jonathan India is there. And look, Joey Votto is ageless, it seems like, so I know he just had the shoulder surgery, but he came back. Uh, it seems like, you know, he's ready to go. So I don't know. Um, they seem like a young, fun, exciting team, but it's hard for me to get behind them because they play in Cincinnati, and I hate the Bengals so much that it's hard for me to want to see the Reds succeed, even though they're in another division in another league. They're in the National League, obviously, but... I don't know. It's hard for me to want to see them be successful. It's the same thing with the Pirates. Um, just to hell with both of those teams, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, it should be, you know, another dicey night, honestly, tonight with the weather. But hopefully they get the game in. Hopefully there's not a doubleheader tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to tonight's game. Um, it should be interesting. I love watching Tyler Wells pitch. He's probably my favorite pitcher that the Orioles have. So that's all I really got for today. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone who watches, who listens. Uh, you all are the best. Definitely like this video. Every like counts. Every subscriber counts. If you're not subscribed, please do it. Uh, you know, every one of them counts, seriously. Let's get the discussion rolling in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Reds all the talent they have on their team. Let me know if you think they're going to come in first place this year. Um, let me know what you think about Jordan Westberg's debut. It was a lot of fun to watch last night, even if it did take an extra hour and 45 minutes. But we were all there for it because we're diehards, right? So thank you again for watching. Um, hope you have a great rest of your day. Hopefully the weather stays clear, and hopefully we get a baseball game tonight that doesn't have a delay in it. Peace out, and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow.